have identified in, a, in engaging in a third party investigation, everyone's looking up to Eric for some good news regarding the sex scandal at IHOP. They're like, Forty, almost 50 days into this disaster fiasco, and he's announcing a third party, but he's keeping it private and he's not gonna publish the results. And he doesn't even know, he hasn't even talked to the advocates if they're even gonna accept the third party. You are an armchair investigator. I have, listen to this. I have 20 plus years of criminal investigations in sex abuse. Not saying Bickle is guilty, but IHOP KC has badly handled it, and now they've hired you to make smurny, smurny, smurmy. What happened? Smurmy. Able to do a worse job than Mr. Grease and the ELT. It's a disaster. People are 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 leaving. All right. They're tendering the resignation. Not only that, it, to be honest with you, even for Mike Bickle, all right, this is a disaster for Mike Bickle, the way this has been handled, all right? It's exploded all over the internet. If Mike Bickle would have just simply made a statement, are you innocent, Mike? What's your public stance on this? No, they're gonna get investigators. We still don't know. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Welcome to my channel. Please support your local food bank, Drug and Alcohol Center. Thank you to my friends. They just, they're clicking that little like button and leaving me. You know, my last video, I had a lot of really encouraging comments. So thank you very much for my friends that are liking my videos and commenting. We're going to look at a whole bunch of stuff today. This is Eric on X. He's getting big, big time blowback. This is his website. This, they, now, now he's the spokesman. So a recap, if you didn't watch my last video. Oh boy, what happened? What happened? This is my last video. He is the crisis manager and Mr. Greaves has stepped aside and he is now the spokesman for Mike Bickle. And to finish the recap, in this video that just came out, he's there's more questions. In fact... Eric, the crisis manager, horrible start, igniting in a social media storm. So this is, get into this video. This is what started the social media storm. Then we're going to look at some of the comments. Today is December 10th. And I'm naming dates because all the armchair investigators are in line are going to be picking all this apart. <clears throat> Today is December 10th. And IHOP KC has engaged a new third party to conduct an independent and impartial investigation. One more time. IHOP has engaged a new third party to conduct an independent and impartial investigation. What does that mean? Let me tell you a little bit about this firm. I'll tell you what it means. They've hired private investigators. They won't release the name of who they are. They have no idea, no clue if the advocates and women will even talk to them. And we don't know if they'll even publish what they find. Igniting a social media storm. Many people are quite upset with his comments regarding the armchair. Here it is here. Now, this is Eric. I just had a notification. Um... Now, Eric has got an incredibly powerful testimony. He was imprisoned and he is an advocate. So I relate to Eric big time. I'm an advocate, all right? And he's starting off terrible. So here it is here. The sarcastic, this is on Eric's social media. The sarcastic comment about armchair investigators is not the way. Really, you should apologize for that. People are hurting and you're cracking jokes at their expense. Eric, please don't start by insulting all the local victim supporters as armchair investigators. You made it adversarial now. We are aware there's millions of money, job, status, reputations at stake. That's a good comment. It chooses to protect the costs. Remember, Alan Hood and the advocates are getting online threats. 
All right. People are calling them Absaloms and filled with demons. All right. In spite the fact IHOP thoroughly knew my story, this is Jane Doe. They have consistently minimized, denied the knowledge and the real evidence from the victims. Right. Mr. Voles, you are an armchair investigator. I have, listen to this. I have 20 plus years of criminal investigations and sex abuse. Not saying Bickle is guilty, but IHOP KC has badly handled it. And now they've hired you to make smurny, 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 smurmy. What happened? Smurmy, remarks. That is not good. So that's the long and the short. We'll look at a few more here. There was one positive one. What Vols has done is motivate many with relative professional skills to pay more attention and look into this matter. We can buy laptop investigators. <laughs> Sorry, but in salts, really good barefoot. All right. So we, Eric needs our prayers. This poor guy has insulted all the victims, all the advocates and asked and has created more questions and answers. And the reason why he had more of a laughter and response on the, on the comment, We'll listen to that one more time, and then we're going to look at a few more comments on my video. And we're going to look at Facebook. Listen to the, the applause. He gets more laughter and applause over the armchair, um, armchair investigators than he did with a third party. I'm going to explain to you why I believe that is. Today is December 10th. And I'm naming dates because all the armchair investigators are in line are going to be picking all this apart. <clears throat> Today is December 10th, and IHOPKC has engaged a new third party to conduct an independent and impartial investigation. All right, so when he says armchair investigators, People are laughing and there's a big applause. Then he says, we have identified in, a, in engaging in a third party investigation. Everyone's looking up to Eric for some good news regarding the sex scandal at IHOP. They're like, <laughs> 40, almost 50 days into this disaster fiasco and he's announcing a third party, but he's keeping it private and he's not gonna publish the results. And he doesn't even know, he hasn't even talked to the advocates if they're even going to accept the third party. Poor Eric has done a horrible job. Now, remember, I recognize Eric as a Christian brother. So we'll hold him in prayer. Maybe he can start making some good decisions. And the first thing he can do is apologize to the victims, the advocates, by mocking them on social media. Now, this is Eric's website. I'm done with this video. I want to look at a few things. This is his client's news clippings. What's going on here? So look at this, this guy, that guy reiterate, you know, we are all saved by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we, I make mistakes. I screw up all the time. It's only by the grace of God. I'm always on my knees. Father, forgive me. I shouldn't have said that. And I'm sure Eric's regretting it as well. So let's, let's give him some grace. A very handsome, talented young man. He was falsely imprisoned and found the Lord inside of a jail cell, all right? I relate to this guy. I spent years of my life in maximum city prisons, all right? Take a look at my face. I've been punched in the head so many times. I can't even box anymore. I've had so many concussions. I got scars on my head. And the reason I said that is I know what it's like to live in very violent, dangerous situations. It's, it's a lot, you know, it's a miracle he got out of there, all right? All right, said my piece. Now, this is, let's look at Facebook first, and I gotta hit this straight, all right? Has engaged a new third party to conduct an independent and impartial investigation. What does that mean? Let me tell you a little bit about this firm. The firm has extensive experience conducting independent investigations into high profile cases across the KC metro it, area. Yeah. That's not what we're asking for. Are they going to publish it? We don't know. Let's look at a few more comments on my video. Thank you to my friends that are liking my videos. I just posted this. 
and I had um, some really good comments. One of the comments was, I haven't read them all. I'm actually running a little bit late. I gotta get to the street. That hoy is lunes. I speak Spanish in my channel, right? He wasn't there. He's only repeating what IHOP has told him to say. Yes, great comment, Janice. That's exactly what he's doing. This is just absolutely disgusting. Why doesn't the organization need a crisis manager? Great question. I don't know how to believe anything coming out of the IHOP at this point. I agree. It's a total and absolute disaster fiasco, mismanagement. In fact, is it possible to do a worse job than Mr. Grease and the ELT? It's a disaster. People are, 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 are leaving, all right? They're tendering the resignation. Not only that, it, to be honest with you, even for Mike Bickle, all right? This is a disaster for Mike Bickle, the way this has been handled, all right? It's exploded all over the internet. If Mike Bickle would have just simply made a statement, are you innocent, Mike? What's your public stance on this? No, they're gonna get investigators. We still don't know. All right. One more comment. No, I gotta go. And Brother John, don't let up. These dudes are involved in a huge cover up. It sure looks like it. Uh, he wasn't there. He's only representing IHOP. Where's the comment? I don't understand why the third party can't be revealed. That doesn't sit well. Yes. Everybody's saying the same thing. Another biased person. Yes. Where is the comment? Something about the armchair war. There's a really good comment here. Here it is here. All right, here it is here. Wait. You're in my video. <laughs> All right, so rapture, delight. The spokesman throwing shade on the advocates, calling them air, armchair investigators, and the whole church laughing is a bad look. I have no faith in Eric, the spokesman. You know, just so everybody knows, I didn't actually even catch it. When he said armchair investigators, it just bounced off me like it was like jello, all right? It just, it like, it didn't even phase me. And the reason is I'm a bit of a tough guy and I've been doing social media videos for five years. And if people knew the comments that I get, well, you know, I had, I had one, one horrible situation Let's finish reading this, where I actually even had to file a police report back in 2019 by a false prophet. I thought, I felt a threat to my life. There was pi pictures of these and kidnappings. <laughs> I opened up a, I did a big investigation on a false prophet. And, uh, you know, he's, he came into my town and uh, I had to file a police report. So... When, when Eric said armchair investigators, like, bing, you know, it didn't even phase me. I was like, whatever. <laughs> and I, I block people all the time. I, it just doesn't phase me. You know, like on social media, it's the wild, wild west. And there are a lot of keyboard tough guys out there, you know, and it, does, it just doesn't phase me. All right. You have to have thick skin on social media. Not only that, I'll end this. I've had comments where I'm reading them like, this is horrible. It's like, you are such a horrible person. You da, da, da. So I'll come back. Well, God bless you. And then, and then the person will say to me, no, brother John, I love you. I was talking about the person in the video. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So the other thing is that every comment you have, it, it can be read out of content. So I almost blocked a person because they're just going, they're just so angry at the person I was doing an exposed video on. I took it like they were talking to me. They weren't even talking to me. They love me as one of a long time viewers. <laughs> so that's where it is. Even on social media, when you read a comment, just step back and just, okay, process it and then comment back. Like, are you talking about me? <laughs> All right, last one. The use of an armchair investigator on church platforms by a godly man was uncalled for and an insult to both advocates and victims. I didn't catch that. So I'm not perfect either, right? We love you, Brother John. I've, and I said, I wonder if you've seen any of my videos. Done with this video. I'm going to read one Bible verse, and then i got to hit this straight. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. The eye. This is Matthew. Somewhere on the Mount. It's a great place to start. Today is the day of salvation. If you're having sex 
out of weddings, all right? You're cheating on your husband and your wife in front of your computer every night, get right with God now. Lusting with your eyes, cheating at work, whatever you're doing, today is a day of salvation, an abundant life in Christ Jesus, all right? The eye is a lamp of the body, so if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, the whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great a darkness. No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one or love the other. He will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. It is life more than food and body more than clothing. All right. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns and your heavenly father feeds them. Are you more valuable than they? Question mark. Absolutely. God loves you. And which of you being anxious can add a single hour to his lifespan? Span. And why are you anxious about clothing? Considering the leaves of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he much not more clothe you? O you little feet, therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows you need them all. Here it is. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Praise the Lord. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient is the day's trouble. The Apostle Paul said, forgetting what was behind, all right, pressing on to the future, we can't change yesterday, all right? And God has forgiven you. When we repent, it says in 1 John 4, 7 and 8. No, that's first, first, forgive me, 1 John 1, 7 and 8. It says, if you claim to be without sin, you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you. But if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to purify you from all unrighteousness. Today is a salvation. Today is a day of salvation. Have a great day. I'll go, I, I have a suspicion that I'm going to be doing updates more frequently right now. Because of Eric and his absolute disaster fiasco video has added way more questions. So we're going to find out, are the advocates going to accept the third party? Who's the investigator? So that all come out. There's already speculation on Twitter. And um, I think I have, let me see, where's my profile? I have 18 followers on Twitter. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't use Twitter much, but I have 18 followers. And um, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm going to start posting more stuff. And um, there's speculations online regarding uh, Mr. Eric, um, who they have hired. And I believe... You know, just so everybody knows, the advocate said there's going to be increasing levels of disclosure, and Julie Royce is on the case. So I believe that Julie's going to write another article, and who knows? I got to get to the street, but if if she does, and I'm on the street, I'll print it off at Staples. I don't own a printer, and then uh, we'll read it on the street. If not, we'll do it later today. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit the notification, like the video. Have a great day. May the Lord bless you. Keep you strong in the faith. And always remember, Brother John loves you.